Hi everybody, welcome back. This is week two, lesson one. And this week we are thinking about the three areas once again. So we're looking at uh, food and water, shelter and love. So we'll start with food and water and I hope that all of you have been drinking lots of water. So it takes 21 days to form a habit. So let's continue with that um, focus. So we're going to continue with water and this week Again, I want you to stay away from fizzy drinks and I want you to um, love water. So you can add a little bit of diluted juice this week to your water just to make it a little bit more exciting for yourselves. Continue to use Plant Nanny, the app. Moving on to shelter, we're going to look at shoes. So what I want you to do is, if you have a lot of shoes, I want you just to take out your winter shoes since we're moved now, we've moved now into the springtime. And I want you to do the same thing that I, you did last week with the handbags. I want you to put all your shoes in one area. I want you to look at your shoes and pick out your favorite pair. Whenever you've got your favorite pair, pop it over to the right hand side. And out of all the shoes in front of you, you take your least favourite and you pop that over to the left hand side. Now you look at the shoes that you have left and you continue to do that until you have divided your shoes into 50-50. Now, with shoes it's a little bit different because you may find that, that you have a smaller amount than handbags or maybe you have more. So that would suit you to go and take the left hand side and get rid of that the left hand side. Um, but some people might not have as many shoes. Uh, for example, I don't think I've got as many shoes as what I did handbags. So what I want you to do is to go back into your left hand side and look for the practical shoes that you will need. For example, there might be a pair of boots that you wear whenever it's snowing. So you might say, right, they're not my favorite, but I really do need them. So for um, being a practical pair, that can be removed back over to the right hand side but you're only allowed to do it three times so you're only allowed to look for something that's practical or something um shoe wise that you would wear on a special occasion or um shoes that are sentimental so you've got your three the practical one for special occasions and one for sentimental reasons that you're going to keep. So three pairs can then be moved over to the, to the right hand side. I have to be nice to you because I do these tasks too. So I will be doing, doing that and then I'll be able to bring back three more pairs. Okay, so that's your shoes sorted and moving on now to books. Also, I want you to look at your books this week. And the first thing I want you to do with your books is decide, um, first of all, books that you no longer need. So there are certain, next week as well, we're going to look at books again. So you're just looking at all your books, go to your bookcases and say, do I need this book? And if the answer is yes, keep it. If the answer is no, it needs to go in the box. So put it in the box, send it off to charity or a bookshop or donate it to a library or sell your books. So uh, moving on to love this week, uh, what I want you to do is to write a list of all your family members and all your friends in one big list. And whenever you have your list, I want you to lift your diary and I want you to put in each week one person from that list that you're going to focus on. Hopefully you don't have hopefully you don't have more than 52 family and friends. Um so what I want you to do, for example, I'm going to put down my sister. So my sister Michelle will go in the next she my sister would be the first one, so I would have her as my focus. And that way you have to show that person lots of love. So what you have to do is phone that person or text them, send them a letter or a card and just basically get in touch with that person. It would be better rather than um, through, through the phone and the internet to actually go and visit the person, but to make, to reconnect with 
that person and what that's really doing is showing that person that you care and love them so I have all my family members and all my friends and I put them in each week within my diary or if, if you have a calendar just pop that person's name at the beginning of the week and really let that person be the focus and send them loads of love and uh, yeah so that covers your love area for this week this week let me know in the comments if you decide to do any of them sometimes it's hard to do all three in one week but give at least one a go and let me know how you get on thank you very much for watching